All right, you guys, we're trying something new today. We're not doing any intro. We're just going to jump right in. So go ahead and grab a resistance band for these first warm up exercises. First, you're going to go ahead and bring the resistance band above your knees and we're going to do some squats. Just full on squats. We've got two sets of 15. Make sure when you squat down, you're pressing your legs outward. You don't want to let those knees cave in, especially if you're using a resistance band that's a little bit stronger. Your knees are going to want to cave in because the resistance band is pulling them together. So create a boundary and press your legs out or keep them nice and stable so they don't cave in. You can take a sumo squat if necessary where your toes are pointed outward. If you can, just go ahead and stay regular, legs shoulder width apart. All right, moving into stepping squats. So for this exercise, we are going to step from side to side, but stay low. No breaks here. We're just gonna go back and forth to warm up our legs and get those glutes activated. Coming back into these squats, we're gonna do 15 here. And then coming back into our side steps. For the side steps, it's the same thing. Make sure you're applying pressure and really opening up the legs so that your calf doesn't just go out without the thigh. The whole leg should move in one motion together. I know it can be tough, especially if your resistance band is really tight. All right, moving into some glute pulses, squat pulses, same thing. Go ahead and pulse. Come down into a squat. Make sure you're pressing your legs outward or keeping them nice and stable so those knees don't cave in. Keep your back nice and straight. Come up slightly. Your knees stay bent the entire time. And then you are just going to go ahead and pulse wherever is comfortable. We're going to do 12. All right, one more set of this, and then we are moving into the weights, you guys. So go ahead and get a pair of dumbbells ready. I want, I want you to believe. Only you need me, catch me. Want you to dream. Go ahead and grab a heavy pair of dumbbells. We are really trying to grow those glutes, you guys. So we're going to start off with some straight leg deadlifts. Assume the position, bringing the dumbbells into the front of you. I like to kind of touch them together, almost like a barbell, and just take them down to your feet. We're going to do three sets of 20. When you sit back to bring your hands forward, you really want to push into your butt, though, as if you were to be sitting down, but you're not actually going to sit down. I hope that makes sense. Like really push your butt back. Don't arch your back and push your butt out. You just want to sit back into your butt. Give yourself a 10 second break. Moving into set two, make sure you're squeezing when you come to the top. Really squeeze those glute muscles. It's bulking season. I know it's kind of funny, right? It's like summertime now and I'm like, oh, I'm ready to gain weight. It's so random, but I don't know. We're doing the opposite. <laughs> I am anyway. All 
right, 10 second rest, and then we're gonna get into our last set. Great job, make sure you're squeezing at the top. Make sure you're taking those dumbbells all the way down. You should feel a slight pull in those hamstrings. Push back into that booty, and don't forget to breathe. Great job, give yourself a 20 second rest. All right, go ahead and put one of your dumbbells down. We're just gonna use one at the moment. We're gonna do some jump squats. So for this exercise, go ahead and squat down and jump up from that squat. This exercise is working your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings. It's all, baby, all good. You wanna try to jump up as quick as possible. It doesn't really matter how high you jump. We wanna jump up quickly. You want to squat down, hop back up, squat down, hop back up. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. Give yourself a 10 second rest. Moving into set two. Great job, give yourself another 10 second rest and then we have our last 15. Really squat down and push up from those heels. When you jump up, try to jump up from those heels, squat deep. I know it can be hard to squat as deep as you want if your dumbbell keeps touching the ground. So if you have to shift the position, go ahead and shift the position. That's totally fine. Great job. Give yourself a 20 second rest. All right, bring one dumbbell into each hand. And for this exercise, we're gonna be doing some reverse lunges. Reverse lunges are actually better for building up the booty than forward lunges. Forward lunges is actually gonna be focusing more on the quads and the legs in general. For reverse lunges, we're gonna be focusing on the booty. It's all booty, it's side booty, it's under booty, it's total booty. So step back, make sure that your front knee is behind your front toe and make sure that your back knee does not hit the ground. And if it does hit the ground, that's fine. Just try to keep it off the ground if it's possible. I know for some of us it's not possible and that's totally fine, but really just give it all of your effort because you wanna keep the tension on that leg. And if it hits the ground, you're releasing tension. Make sure you're also keeping your back nice and straight. Make sure you're breathing, you guys, and we've got 10 on each leg. Great job, give yourself a 10 second rest and move into set two.
last 10 second rest for this exercise and move into set three. Go ahead and grab your yoga mat. We're going to be moving down to the ground for a few other exercises. First off, we're going to be doing glute bridges. For this exercise, we're going to use both pieces of equipment combined. So grab a resistance band as well as a dumbbell. Bring the resistance band above the knees. This is going to keep the legs pulled together, but we're going to push them apart for some resistance, okay? And then you're going to bring the dumbbell onto your pelvis. Bring your Toes off the ground so you're focusing on balancing on your heels and you're going to push up from the heels as well as keep those legs open as possible. So you're pushing against the resistance band while you're thrusting. It's not just there for funsies, right? So that's working the outer booty and then when we thrust up, squeeze those glutes and that's working the under booty and the gluteus maximum, which is the middle booty. We're going to do three sets of 15 here. Great job, give yourself a 10 second rest. Moving into set two, make sure you're thrusting and when you come to the top, you're squeezing those glutes. Squeeze that booty as tight as you can. Also, focus. Focus on the position of your knees. Are you pushing out that resistance band or is it just kind of chilling there? Focus on that as well. Yes, I know I'm crazy, crazy about you, crazy about your love. I know I'm a flirt sometimes. I know I get drunk some nights. I know I get way too high. I just wanna live it up. With Ten second rest, and then get into set three. I know when you've had enough. It's just how I show my love. Darling, can I live it up? I know I'm a flirt sometimes. I know I get drunk some nights. Great job. Take a 20 second rest. So put your equipment down, no dumbbells, no resistance bands, bring your feet together, your legs should be wide open, and you are going to thrust up. This is all booty, you guys. Oh my God, it feels so, so good. Squeeze when you get to the top, thrust high, as high as you can. We're gonna do three sets of 15. Really squeeze those glutes. Great job, 10 second rest. Set on closer, baby. We can talk about it. No need to be mad. 
Move into set two. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. I'm crazy, crazy about you, crazy about your lips. I know I'm a flirt sometimes. I know I get drunk some nights. I know I get way too high. I just want to live it up with you. I know that it might be tough. I know when you've had enough. It's just how I show my love. Darling, can I live it up with you? I know I'm a flirt sometimes. Great job. Last break and then finish the set. One more, you guys. We're almost there. Don't give up now. Keep thrusting. Darling, can I live it up with you? Great job. Don't forget, you guys, do not forget. Do a little cool down. You'll see here that I'm doing a little bit of stretching. Just make sure that you do a little bit of cool down for your lower body. I'm gonna also leave the link to, I'm gonna leave the card right here for my last cool down that I did. It's very important that you guys cool down your body and not just get up and go about your day, okay? If you have time, please, please, please use the cool down. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, you guys. Smash that like button, and I will see you tomorrow for some stretches. Bye.